Bangalore might be the best legend in the game right now. She's great for offense and defense, as well as being fun to play. But how can you maximize your games on Bangalore? Well, we've got you covered with the number one Bangalore guide anywhere on the internet. But before that, do you want 11,500 Apex coins to spend on Bangalore skins, Apex packs, and more? We're going to give one lucky Pro Guide subscriber Apex coins every four weeks this season. All you have to do is like this video and subscribe to the Pro Guide's Apex Legends channel. Then, click the link in the description and sign up to ProGuides.com, subscribing for $9.99 a month. And then, comment your Pro Guide's username in the comment section below. We're going to announce the winner at the end of the month. Like all Assault Legends, Bangalore benefits from the Assault class. Now, this class is by far the most powerful and most enjoyable class for the average player. While some classes, like the Controller class, are valued more by super sweaty pro players for enjoying pubs or W King some ranked, the Assault class has a lot to offer. But why is this class so powerful? The Assault class simply helps you get kitted out, carry more items, and therefore be more effective in fights. The Assault bins around the map provide you smart loot, and they always have a guaranteed scope as well. Not having a scope can be one of the most frustrating and limiting things in Apex Legends, and because it's smart loot, you're not going to get a scope that you can't use. Saving time on looting and being able to loot a little and hitting an assault bin and getting a juiced weapon isn't just convenient, but it does make the game a lot more fun. Apex games are pretty fast paced these days and no one likes looting for half the game and then aimlessly wandering around trying to find one of the three squads that's left. Bangalore also gets extra benefits from the Assault class that just don't apply to other legends. Bangalore is strong, but if you have a weapon with a digi threat, this lets you see through the smoke she has, which adds a lot of extra possibilities to Bangalore's gameplay. The Assault bins do spawn these digi scopes, so make sure to loot as many as you can. Bangalore's passive isn't that mind-blowing on paper, but it has a lot more power than meets the eye. Known as Double Time, Bangalore gets faster movement speed whenever a bullet comes close to him. The application of this ability is clear, either use it to make an escape or a rotation. For example, crossing some open space while being sniped at. The double time can help you get from A to B quickly, or you could use it to push enemies at a higher speed. Now this becomes extra effective, however, in close range 1v1s. Like Octane Stim, people get very used to tracking the speed of players in fights. Muscle memory helps them aim at people, and the Bangalore's passive adds a new speed into the game that can totally throw players off. Of course, the main use of Bangalore is that escape or push, but you'll also get those extra benefits that can help unsettle your opponents in 1v1 situations. Situations. The tactical smoke grenade launcher is by far the most flexible part of Bangalore's kit. In short, the smoke can help you escape, push, and it does damage too. So, what are the best use cases for this ability? Primarily, it is a defensive ability, and a very useful one at that. It cuts line of sight from enemies to you, and it can do this in one of two ways. Either smoking the position you're playing, or some open space you want to move through, or potentially smoking the enemy's position so they can't see you. Situations dictate when you should do each. If the enemy's in the open and could just move around the smoke, it's going to be best to smoke your side. If, for example, they're shooting from a building, smoking the window or roof would be very effective and the enemy won't be able to see you at all. You can also use smokes to shield you while you do things like loot death boxes or even revive in the open. Just remember though, the smokes don't block bullets. One extra thing to note is that if you're right up against the zone, smokes are way less effective. The glow of the zone makes it easy to see your outline, so bear this in mind. Of course, if you smoke towards enemies who have their back to zone, you'll be able to see them while they can't see you, unless they have a digiscope. Now, digital scopes completely transform the Bangalore smoke into a super aggressive ability. If you are on Bangalore, you should do everything in your power to acquire these and always run at least one weapon that can take the scope. The best and most flexible choice right now would be an SMG. Now, once you have the digi scope, you can use the smokes in two aggressive ways. Smoking your feet and then shooting from the smoke towards the enemies or smoking at the enemies and fighting them from the outside of the smoke. These two tactics are much of muchness. For example, taking a fight on a team in a building, smoking into the building and running at the enemies with your digi is far better than smoking yourself and trying to shoot from afar for instance. Because digi scopes can only go on pistols, SMGs and shotguns, apart from the 4x10 sniper optic of course, generally you're going to need to be pretty close to your enemies to make full use of this. 
The most cringe thing in all of Apex is to smoke people across the map and charge rifle them with your 410 sniper scope. But you never heard that from us. And you're, by watching this video, you're promising us that you're gonna never do that, okay? Cool. Overall, the Bangalore smoke is strong with no digi and essentially broken with a digi. It is by far the strongest part of Bangalore's kit and is a huge reason why she's become so popular in recent seasons. Bangalore's Rolling Thunder Ultimate also keeps the same theme of being useful defensively and offensively. It's a pretty simple ability. A range of missiles fall in the direction you throw the ultimate, and it falls away from you. There are probably three common applications of the Rolling Thunder. Using it to an escape an enemy team. If you're trying to escape, throwing the Rolling Thunder at your feet, but behind you, can mean you can't be followed. It's pretty risky to throw it so it falls in the direction you're running, as you're trying to stop the team from being able to pursue you. It falls pretty fast and will both damage and stun you if you get hit by it, so it's kind of hard to outrun. Now, if you're holding a position, especially as the ring moves or in late game, you can also use this to stop a team ever pushing you in the first place. Say a team has to rotate in because of zone, and they can go either left or right. If you bang alt their rotate towards you, you can deny them that rotate and force them to take another position or fight another team, thus helping you stay alive for longer. Finally, it can be thrown at a team to help you push them, either to fight them or bully them off of a certain position. It might clear a team off of a roof and force them inside, or if they can't move, it might just totally decimate them. But how do you avoid being damaged and stunned by this ability while capitalizing off of it aggressively? The missiles come down in rows and then explode in the order that they came down. This means, with careful timing, you can follow the explosions in, meaning you're right there to capitalize on any space or damage earned without taking damage or being stunned yourself. Now, this is a really powerful way to move a team. Again, it is extra powerful in smaller circles. If a team has nowhere to go, they can be forced to tank the damage and could be very, very easy kills. The Rolling Thunder also has a pretty short cooldown of three minutes, so don't be afraid to use it. In the world of Apex Legends, Bangalore, whose real name is Anita Williams, is a skilled combatant and a professional soldier known for her tactical prowess and disciplined nature. Born and raised on the planet Gridiron, she comes from a military family and enlisted in the IMC at a young age. Gridiron, Bangalore's home, was a planet embroiled in a conflict between the IMC and the Frontier Militia. The IMC sought to exploit the planet's resources while the Frontier Militia fought to protect their homeworld. Bangalore, deeply loyal to the IMC, became an exceptional soldier and served with distinction. Now, during her time with the IMC, Bangalore participated in several high-stakes missions, often finding herself on the front lines of intense battles. Her tactical abilities, honed through years of training, made her an asset on the battlefield. She became known for her tactical smoke launcher, which allowed her to provide cover and disorient enemies during combat. However, Bangalore's loyalty to the IMC was tested when she discovered evidence of corruption within the organization. Now, unwilling to turn a blind eye, she confronted her superiors and demanded justice. But instead of receiving support, she was met with indifference and even hostility. Disillusioned with the IMC's disregard for truth and justice, Bangalore made the difficult decision to desert her post. Now, after leaving the IMC, Bangalore became a professional competitor in the Apex Games, a highly popular blood sport in the Outlands where legends from various backgrounds compete for glory and fortune. Her tactical expertise and combat skills quickly earned her a place among the legends, making her a formidable opponent in the arena. What if there was an assault bin full of Apex Legends tips, tricks, and guides, tailored to what you need to support your development as an Apex player? That'd be pretty neat, right? Now, Pro Guides has a wide range of Apex Predator and Pro Level players who can deliver tailored coaching to help you rank up. Plus, a range of master classes and boot camps can supercharge your ability. To unlock your assault bin of Apex Legends coaching for just $9.99 per month, head to ProGuides.com and shoot up those leaderboards. That's all for our Bangalore guide. Have you been playing the legend? Let us know how you get on and feel free to share any of your own personal Bangalore tips in the comments down below.